Okay, this is a screencast uh, running through the process of importing data into a normalized database. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go onto Blackboard, uh, onto your course materials, so that you can get the zip file which has got all the files in it that you need. Uh, so remember, you go onto course, course materials. This is a principal learning unit. Uh, the unit is called Creating Technology Solutions. Um, this particular activity we're looking at is part of Learning Outcome 3. So I select Learning Outcome 3. And um, we've got this importing folder. And in here you've got the uh, zip file. It's got, uh, just click on there. Save it somewhere. Um, we also need to extract all these files. It's very important that you do extract the files before you start working on them. Um, I'm just going to extract these to. Uh, I'm going to extract these onto my flash drive. Um, uh, you can obviously save these in my documents or wherever you, you want to. So I've selected the um, the files or the folder that I want to extract them to and then just click on extract It'll take a few moments now I've got the extracted files here um, so the first thing I'm going to do is open up this uh, Formula 1 database um, now this database just has only got in the tables um, there's no data in these tables if I just quickly look you can see there's nothing in the uh, in any of these tables they're all empty um, so what I want to do just minimize that second is I want to pull all this data from the spreadsheet which is in unnormalized form and put all of that data into my database um, if I look quickly at the relationships in here, we can see that this is now in third normal form. Um, so, the process goes as follows. Uh, if I just close down the, I'm just going to close my relationships. Um, so, I need to select external data and I'm going to import data from an Excel file. So click on there. Uh, I need to browse to find uh, my Excel file. So I'm just going through my folder structure. This will be in the same folder that you, you unzipped earlier. And uh, there we see there's my Excel file called import data. So import that. Uh, it's very important that um, I import the source data into a new table in the current database. So make sure that first option is selected. Click on OK. Uh, just click on open on that security message. Uh, this is the data. You can see it's pulled it from the spreadsheet. Um, I want to tick this box here, first row contains column headings. You can see row 1 is actually the field names. So select that, that now means that all the correct field names was, will be set up in the table. Uh, I click on next and then I need to go through um, each of these fields in turn, each of these columns, to make sure that the data type uh, and field name is correct. Uh, in this case, yes it is. Click on to the next one. Yes, that's text. Yes, text. Uh, years in F1. 
this is probably better off as a long integer. Um, the reason for that is that if um, if you want to use it as a linking field, um, it works better. Nationality is text, team name is text, car color is text, current car number again, rather than double, I'm going to go for long integer. Um, world champion, yes or no. Now, I have got the option here to set this as a yes or no field. Um, although when I attempted to do that early on a test run it didn't work very well so I'm going to leave that as text um, and then uh, convert it to a yes or no field type later and then finally hobbies is set as text as well so all the data types are now set up click on next in this case because this is unnormalized data uh, there's going to be lots of rows that repeat so I'm not going to set a primary key so no primary key and then next um, and then I give the table a name that's going to import this data into. I'm not going to get the wizard to analyze the data afterwards because I know that this is unnormalized. Um, this wizard will, will tell me various things about uh, how this data is unnormalized and what I should do to get it into third normal form. Um, but I've gone through all that already, so I'm not going to tick that box. So just click on finish. This box is about in saving your import steps. So that whole process that I've just been through, I can save those import steps. Um, I can call it uh, import import data, and that means that I don't have to repeat those tasks again in future. I just need to run the import. So we'll save that import. Okay, because I've already done this once, it's already saved, so I'll call that import data 2. No, I've already done it like that. I'm sorry, I've already used that name. Import data 2.2. Right, okay, that's saved. Um, if you go to saved imports, you can see all of your saved imports on there. So now you can see that we've got the import data table. And that's all the table, all the data from the spreadsheet imported into a, a kind of flat file database table.